This is Uther Donaldson, and this is Conflict of Nations World War Three, Day 3, and I'm playing as the Philippines. Okay, welcome back, guys, and uh, thank you for supporting this channel. Well, you might have noticed, but I'm feeling under the weather right now, and uh, I haven't done any uh, COVID testing yet. I'm still waiting for the COVID test um, to be scheduled. Uh, um, they will visit our home and uh, do a test for everyone here in the uh, in the household. So I just hope that everyone is safe and that um, you guys are uh, safe with your family and um, protected from this uh, pandemic. Okay, so this is day three. Um, and uh, as you notice here, we were able to uh, capture Taiwan. We were able to conquer the uh, island of Taiwan. And uh, there was a battle that happened there. And uh, one of my units, my uh, artillery, My 8th Artillery Battalion was defeated by the 1st Military Unit. So, I wasn't online that time when it happened. So, that's fine. It's a battle. Um, so, basically, uh, Taiwanese troops have, uh, have made a sortie out of their, out of their capital and uh, attacked my artillery. And because of that, I lost uh, I lost uh, my artillery, but that's fine. I was able to capture the whole um, island. And uh, okay, now we were able to secure the uh, electronics uh, city of Taipei. All right, so we have one annex city, and right now, I will be sending some troops to capture this islands here, the parts the islands. Oh, so it's owned by Vietnam now. All right. Okay, so. All right. So I'll have to be careful. Okay, so I will need to change my uh, commands here. Okay. I'll have to uh, put them here. I'll station them first in um, in Puerto Princesa. Now, here's the thing. We have Vietnam here in the east. All right. Vietnam is um Vietnam is in alliance with Japan. So we have Japan, Turkey, Russia, United States and Vietnam. So I have enemies in both the east as well as the north. China is not moving, so Okay, so I can probably um, focus on these two enemies here. Okay, so Japan is building, uh, has buildings on his city, so this player is active, and uh, we will have a, uh, a fight here. So as you can see, he also has National Guards or a Recruitment Center, so let's check and see what he has. Um, so he has Recruitment Centers. Um, Barracks and uh, arms industry. Here in Niigata, he has the same. And then in Tokyo, he has, all right, so barracks. So he's focusing on ground troops. Okay, now, now he's focusing on ground troops. He has no level 2 naval base. So that's there's a big chance that uh, for now he's not focusing on oh look at that level two recruitment centers, he's 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 not gonna focus on uh, navy, so that will give us an advantage, because right now I'm already um in the process of mobilizing two uh, corvettes, 
So I'll have one by within four hours, and then I'll have another one here um, within 22 hours. So okay, so I'll have two Corvettes. That those are those will be valuable in uh, this fight here. Now let me check Vietnam. Okay, Vietnam also has oh Vietnam has a navy. Okay, he has level two uh, shipyard and then some barracks as well as arms industries. He also has the recruitment center in Natrang. In UE he has level two barracks. Okay. Okay. So he has no air force. He possibly have a um um there's a priority fighters. Okay. All right. So he's busy with Thailand and also against um, Myanmar. I believe. I believe Myanmar and uh, Vietnam is at war right now. Let me check. Let's check that. Okay. Here. So Vietnam and uh, Thailand. There, so deceitful act of war. All right, so he'll be busy, but he have taken this islands here, and this is important. This is an important outpost. Of course, the island is an important outpost for the Philippines because look at the distance here. Well, anyway, he can send planes from his mainland, but this one is closer to home, so. I need to push them, push him out of uh, the Parsley Island. Um, okay. So I have two possible options right now. Uh, the first one is to uh, go against Vietnam. Vietnam is uh, currently at war with two nations. So if I will attack him, then it, it may be, you know, an easy fight can be an easy fight all right the only problem we have here is japan because japan is in my north and he has he is um, producing um infantries so he will probably focus on infantries armored vehicles tanks so that's those are the uh, units that we will be expecting from japan Okay, let me just check Vietnam's uh, stats. I've checked this before, but uh, I just wanna be, I just wanna be sure again. So zero point forty nine. So not really a good player, but he has one coalition victory already. So okay, if I'll go for Japan, okay, I can bomb his cities. Once I have. Um, so by the way, I will be producing, I will be researching the naval patrol aircraft, the Orion, P3 Orion by day four. And then after that, after that, um, we'll go for destroyers or frigates. So I'll go for frigates first because of its um, ability to defend against air attack. So we're gonna, I'm gonna research this right after the Orion uh, naval bomber. Um, that will uh, definitely improve my naval capability. So I'll do that. And um, so what's the plan? So Ayman has uh, Australia has troops here, seven seven units going to Taipei. Okay. Now, since since Japan has no navy, so I don't have to worry about uh, being ambushed here or being sunk by any ships. So I will be fine. But there's also a chance that Japan may attack and uh, send his troops to uh, capture my city. So. I will be leaving some of the uh I will be leaving my national guards to defend all of my city. So I'm not gonna 
I'm not gonna leave any cities undefended. Now, let me check Japan's stats again because I can't believe that Japan is doing that. Uh, Japan is a good player. It's uh, 1.02, but uh, I don't understand why he is focusing on uh, Navy. Now, let me check Russia. Okay, so they are... He is in alliance with La Russia. So, Russia also has um, a barracks as well as a... Uh, um, a recruitment center in uh, Vladivostok. No actions happening yet in this area. Okay. Now let me check uh, South Korea if he is active. South Korea is inactive. So I am expecting that Japan will be conquering this uh, this nation here. Okay, so he did capture uh, Yulengdo. Okay, now let me check China. China is not building anything, okay? So there's chaos in China right now. There is, a, let's say, a civil war that's happening in China right now. And China is very exposed from foreign attacks. But um, I'm not going to focus on China yet. I'm not going to attack China. Why? Because he's not moving, so he's not a threat. So we're going to focus first on the human players to eliminate some of the human players here. And that will give us um, better chances of winning the game. So as I um, based from what uh, we did, we checked on the cities of Vietnam and Japan and uh, um, we didn't see any uh, threat, naval threat, except for Vietnam's uh, level 2 shipyard here in Natrang. So we will be expecting um, a corvette, at least one or two corvette. Um, so we're gonna sank that and then, but I have to be careful because that corvette can actually destroy um, some of my ground troops which is currently um, being positioned within the uh, islands being moved around within the island so i have to be very careful because you know i may i may lose a lot of uh, troops because of that so so we'll, i'm gonna wait um i'm gonna wait for my units to be available before i launch an attack so let me check on the united states especially here in the uh in the west coast so portland has Okay, a barracks as well as a, um, a recruitment center here. Same with this one. Okay. All right, so I don't see any naval threat against uh, the United States. Also, the U.S. is uh, not in alliance with Canada and Mexico, so as well as Cuba. So he will have um, threats. He will be surrounded by... Well, technically, he's surrounded by enemies right now. So, I don't think um, the U.S. will be able to help Japan. So, if we will attack Japan, then I'll have to expect Russia to aid his ally. So, but since they don't have a, uh, th since they don't have a, um, a, a naval presence here, then... What I can do is I can, you know, patrol the seas with my corvettes and, yeah, I can do this. I can do this. I just need to have stronger um, ships so I can bomb his uh, coastal cities as well as his coastal units. So, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to send my uh, ground troops to occupy the islands. So, I think I'm, I'll have to focus on Japan first, but I, I need to... Uh, Keep an eye on Vietnam. Um, Indonesia will be... I hope that uh, he fights against Indonesia. I mean, uh, Indonesia goes against uh, Vietnam so that I will be free to focus on Japan. I, don't, I really don't like having to fight uh, multiple wars or at least two to... More than two wars, I, I don't prefer doing that. Not unless I'm in a coalition war and I have allies, that's fine. But right now at this stage, I have um, 
I have limited troops. I only have 19 units right now. And so I have to conserve my units and um, produce more. By the way, let me check uh, Turkey as well. Okay, so this one is 1.06. All right, no wins yet. So this guy has potential, but uh, yeah. Okay, so he was able to. He's winning against Syria, and I. But I think he was. He is also at war with uh, Iraq. So yeah, he's alone right there. But he has Ch uh, Russia right here in his somewhere in his northeast. So. Yeah. Okay. Now. Uh, Australia is at war with uh, the island here in Diego Garcia, so he will be securing uh, Diego Garcia. Very good. So um, even though New Zealand is not doing anything, even though New Zealand is isn't moving. Oh, what's that sound? Yeah, there you go. So even though New Zealand is not moving, that's fine. At least. Australia have uh, was able to uh, secure his um, his uh, eastern flank, so that's a good move for for my friend right here, and he's now taking over Papua New Guinea. Very good, very aggressive. So I think we have a potential to win here. Let's check the other uh, coalition here. So we have an African coalition with uh, Nigeria, Cameroon. South Africa and uh, DR Congo. So let's see. So South Africa is going against Namibia, DR Congo, and Cameroon. Okay, so they're pushing for Angola, Nigeria. There. So they haven't established any dominance yet in uh, Africa, so they will have a hard time. Okay. All right, so we also have Poland, the UK, and Sweden. So I guess uh, the most um, the immediate threat right now will be this uh, Axis powers, this coalition. So if we can take on Japan and then take on Vietnam, all right, um, Australia will help us defend against the US, but uh, I don't think the US will be able to send help. So once we're done with Japan and uh, Vietnam, we can go for China. Possibly China. Let me check Mongolia if he is active. Mongolia is also, oh, so he has a barracks right here. So I guess uh, this player is active also. Okay, so he has barracks. Um, around the uh, um, with, um, around this nation. So, let me check. Uh, let me check Moscow. Okay, so this one is also building his um infantry, his forces with the barracks. So, okay. All right. So I guess we're we're on track. And. I'm excited to for day four because uh, I'm excited to start um, researching the Orion, my naval bomber. So once I have that, I guess I will uh, I will be uh, defensively strong. Now, with regards to my coalition, we are not very much active here, and this is normal in the game. You don't want to. Expose your plans yet. So, um, what my friend here, Ayman, had um, suggested is very good. All right. So there's a lot of uh, options for us to be honest, and he's correct. So. So. Um. So yeah, we're we're in a very good uh, position. We're in, we're in a very good situation here. We have no threats except for Japan as well as Vietnam, and somehow Russia. So. Once those threats were eliminated, then we can now focus on other nations. Then we can push for China and then Kazakhstan. So, okay. So Angola, all right.
Angola is losing against Cameroon. So, I'm expecting that uh, the African Union will be uh, winning, will be dominating Africa. Not unless other good players will, um, will, um, you know, will will uh, pose some threat and uh, will dominate the African um, continent. So let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, so so that's it for now. Um, no major um events that happened. Uh, at least there you can see what's uh, happening within the game. And hopefully, if you have a game right now, if if uh, you are pl currently playing a game, um, I encourage you to uh, share your tactics, your strategies. You know, we can start a uh, a um, a community about um, conflict of nations, and uh, we can share knowledge about the game. We can have like um, um, a group uh, wherein we can discuss um, things about. Uh, conflict of nations and uh, for my uh, subscribers thank you for uh, subscribing to the page and it's been three days now that I am producing um, videos and uh, to be honest I really like doing this guys I, I love um, I love the game and I'd like to do this ever since um, I started doing the game it's just that I have a day job and uh, um, Last November and December was a very busy month for me, so I wasn't able to uh, visit the game, to play the game. Now, at the start of the year, I hope that um, I can pursue this. Um, this game is very good, and I think this one has potential. And now that Vitro is focusing on uh, improving the game, the mobile experience of the game, I think this one will, will, uh, we, we will... Um, we will see growth in uh, Conflict of Nations with many more other players joining the game. But of course, what we want is that uh, players to learn how to play the game. Um, because in reality, right, if, if, you are, um, if you are a world leader, then that means um, you're good. I mean, uh, you, you, could, you could be tactically... Um, uh, tactically good so um that's what we want to have many players that are good in this game so it will be more exciting and uh, much more fun to play so if you have any questions about uh, the game about uh, what we do about um because every player has different strategies in the game um some players uh, have a different style of um managing their production at the at day one which is good that's good because um if you know how to um if you know what to do on day one then you will be able to uh, maximize and um, be more efficient in terms of um, using your resources and producing resources so in this game i had the mistake of not um of not uh building arms industry and because of that, I lost uh, some time or at least a day of um, having to have uh, um, uh, produce more um, uh, resources. But that's fine, you know. Um, in this game, you also have to be flexible. You cannot do. You cannot create a mis uh, You cannot follow up a mistake with a mistake. Once you made a mistake, you have to acknowledge you made a mistake and then plan from where you are, from where you are standing because of that mistake, you have to create another plan to, um, to move on and uh, to carry on and to win because that's how it is and it's just like in life, you cannot quit. I mean, um, you cannot focus on uh, your losses or your uh, failures. All right, but the good thing about this game is that if if you lost, then that's fine. It's just a game, right? Just a game. Although it's it's always fun to fight until the end, right? Regardless whether you win or lose, but there are times that uh, you know you know that it's already a waste of time. 
But uh, for this game, I'll try to do my best to stay and uh, I will commit to stay to the game until the end. And um, whether I lose or win the game, um, I will stay and um, I will fight together with my allies. So, okay. Um, there are France. Uh, Spain is... Um, doing well against France very good uh I haven't played any European cities before I hope I I've played Afghanistan and I won we won um in a coalition so Afghanistan is a very small nation with only what four or five cities imagine and uh was able to win uh to manage to win um using Afghanistan as uh, my country so I haven't tried um any European nations yet, so maybe um on my next game. So guys, I'm not gonna play multiple games here because I wanna focus on one game only. And uh, my goal here is to connect with you guys, to connect with uh, the CON players out there. Okay, so if you have any um comments or suggestion, if you wanna reach out. Please feel free let me know and uh, we can talk probably via Discord and uh, we can talk about the games and uh, if you have any questions, I will be more than happy to uh, answer any of your questions. So, okay, here, currently at uh, 1.99. I haven't tried any other games except for World War 3, this uh, game format. I don't know. I'd like to play a um, a uh, realistic game, as realistic as possible. So, um, I haven't tried doing other games all, uh yet. Maybe in the future. Because uh, C O N has um other games also. It has um. Uh, Apocalypse, Rising Tides. They also have um, uh, Times Square Speed. So if you're if you're um, a fan of, uh, or if you're active all the time, then you can play this uh, times four. Um, by doing this, the games will be uh, finished um, earlier. Um, Battleground USA, I believe this is a, um, uh, this is a uh, civil war within the United States. I haven't played this also. Maybe I will play this uh, next time. Okay. So. Okay. What else? Um. Uh. I guess that's all for now. But uh, again, I really appreciate you guys. Um. I'm talking to myself right now, but uh, I mean, I I'm just alone right now talking to you. But uh, hopefully next time we can have some communication, and that uh, next time. I'll be able to invite some of my uh, friends um, to uh, join me in my um, podcast or my YouTube channel to uh, discuss about um, to discuss things about uh, conflict of nations. Hopefully, next time I will have special guests that will join me in my podcast or in my videos, and uh, we can talk about um, conflict of nations, possibly other uh, world events also because. Most of the time, players of Conflict of Nations are also interested in history, um, current events, especially with Conflict of Nations, right? So I hope that uh, we can accomplish that in the future. And um, if you if you uh, wish to support me, guys, just share the videos, share the page, and um, so that we can get more subscribers. And um, maybe I can set up like a a patreon account or something like that so so i can get supporters also who will who will um uh fund my project uh, i'll, I'll uh, check on that maybe in the future but those are the options that we have and um i really would like to um to do this full time because you know this is something fun right this is just a game yes but uh, there's a community here so 
So I guess uh, that's all for now. And uh, again, I appreciate you guys for listening to to me. And um, I'm ex- uh, I hope that uh, you know you communicate and put your comments in the in the in the video so we can communicate, guys. And if you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate to reach out. So again, uh, I'm hoping that everyone is safe and protected against uh, COVID-19. Not just uh, your health, but also your um, overall well-being in terms of um, finances, your you know, um, safety, security, and um, um, I just want to let you know, guys, that we are all in this together. Even though, uh, even though we're uh, we don't know each other yet, or um, we're far from each other. I want to let you know that I'm here, and uh, um, if you need anything, uh, moral support, you know, just send a message, and uh, I'll do my best to reach out. By the way, I hope that uh, you like my audio, my new audio, because I just bought um, my uh, new mic just arrived, and I hope that this improved the quality of uh, the audio um, big time. So. Again, thank you. And um, Skull.